Welcome to this YouTube channel K Leaders. I'm Francis Chen. In this episode, I would like to share with you on how to apply for Hong Kong work visa. In the last episode, I shared with you that employee has the obligation to make sure that its employees are having right to work in Hong Kong. If you are to offer an employment to an expatriate staff, you have to prepare yourself to assist the employee to apply for a Hong Kong work visa. There are various types of visa for employment and investment in Hong Kong. In this episode, I would like to concentrate on visa under general employment policy. To start with, let's look at the statistics. According to the Immigration Department, and for the period from January 2020 to June 2021, you can see from the chart that most of the applicants are from UK, Japan, US, and India. And most of the applicants are within the salary range of $20,000 Hong Kong to about $80,000 Hong Kong. And most of them are holders of bachelor's degree. Under the immigration regulations, visitors land in Hong Kong are not allowed to take any employment, not allowed to establish or join in any business, and not allowed to become a student at school. Under the general employment policy, applicants must have good educational qualifications and possess special skills which are not readily available in the Hong Kong labor market. The applicants should not become a burden to Hong Kong and must not have any criminal records or security objections. The applicant must have a confirmed employment offer and the job nature must be in line with the academic qualifications or work experience. The applicant must be paid at market rates. Work visas under general employment policy is quota free and non sector specific. Hong Kong employers are normally the sponsors of those work visas. Upon receipt of all the required information and documentation, the Immigration Department will look at each case at its own merit and may make the decision accordingly. Successful applicant may apply to the Immigration Department to bring along his family members, including spouse and children, and the length of stays of these dependents will be the same as the applicant. Processing time for the work visa is normally four to six weeks. Remember, this time is kind of from the time when the Immigration Department receives all the required information and documentation. It is not kind of from the time when you submit the application. So please reserve more time to process the work visa application. Once the application is approved, the applicant is allowed to stay in Hong Kong for 24 months. Within four months before the expiry of the stay, the applicant must apply for extension of stay. Once approved, the expectory staff will be allowed to stay in Hong Kong for another three years. If the expectory staff can continuously stay in Hong Kong for seven years, he may opt to apply to be a Hong Kong permanent resident. Visitors may come to Hong Kong for a specific purpose, such as to attend a short-term seminar, to attend a, a product orientation or a exhibition. The Immigration Department considers that this kind of activities may not necessarily obtain a work visa. It is the obligation of the employer to make sure that its employees are having rights to work in Hong Kong. In most of the cases, the Hong Kong employers are sponsors of the work visas. And please remember to preserve more time to process the work visa application. This is the end of this episode. In the next episode, I will talk to you on employees' compensation insurance. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give us a like and subscribe and share with your friends. Look forward to your continued support. See you next time. Bye-bye.